All right, guys, what is up? I'm currently uh, just off the border of Utah and um, Nevada. I'm technically still in Nevada, but I'm close enough to the border. But I just want to do a brief look around. This is gorgeous. But anyway. So right now I'm on a trip to from Oxnard, California, picking up the trailer I have right now, R51474, which is full of nothing but bananas. And this is going to the Walmart distribution center in uh, Nebraska. Fairly simple load, long run. <clears throat> but I'm just glad I just have saw just have bananas because if this was a mixed up uh, load with multiple things, I'd be stuck at Walmart for quite a few hours. But I want to do this uh, video upload on reefer trucks or refrigerated or whatever you want to call it. But anyway. I want to start off in the back of this thing. Now, from a lot of other uh, trailers, the biggest difference is that is the how this tra all these trailers look. Um, a vast majority of the time, the doors are going to be chrome based since it needs to absorb as much heat as possible or as much. Uh, cold weather as possible. You'll also notice, I'm going to extend you guys out a little bit. Hold on. That'll work. You'll notice that a lot of these trailers are a little bit more uh, contained. It's not as much as divots uh, as usually there are, but that's how these things work. Now, the most important thing for reefer trailers is in the front. I'm gonna spin you guys around so you can get inside. Don't mind the noise. tripping out on those little uh, holes looking things. That's where all the moisture drips out. There's those and there's also ones at the bottom of the front of the trailer and in the back. <clears throat> and that's how things are kept. Now, being a reefer driver is never an easy thing, but it's very, it's very rewarding as far as miles and payment. The only thing you have to monitor it's this guy right here. That tank is the lifeline of whatever is inside. Now, it has a small dial for fuel, which, oh boy, it's getting close to one four, so my next fuel stop is down just down the road. About an hour and a half worth of driving, which is not that far, which I want to try to get done at least uh, uh, 10 hours worth of driving in today. Hopefully I can get that done. <coughs> but if you guys are interested in being a reefer driver, there are so many things that I want I have to go over. Number one is your hours are gonna be very different from the drive van drivers. Drive van, a vast majority of the time they do drop and bust, depending on the company. As far as refrigerated drivers do. You're going to do a lot of live loads and live unloads very, 
very early in the morning or late at night. <clears throat> this load in particular has a, has a three in the morning drop, which I have no problem doing and has to be there by the six. So today is the fourth. I have all day to drive today, all day to drive tomorrow. Uh, probably find somewhere to chill out for a little bit until near the, around two in the morning when this load is an hour new. And Walmart's like that. You can't be one hour early and you can't be one hour late. If you're more than three hours early,